AITA for making my 48M daughter 11F quit gymnastics because of pedophiles feels like I'm in crazy town because my daughter is throwing a tantrum and my wife is losing her shit but I'm not going to pay for lessons that I always thought were a bad idea when I've been proven right the New York Times released an investigative journalism piece today about exactly how those parent run Instagram accounts of young kids make money and I am 100% disgusted my wife has been running an unpopular account for my daughter and her gymnastics for the past 2 years or so I was initially opposed because pedophiles but I was assured time and time again that it was necessary for her future career. I have now been proven right, and I want my wife to shut down the account, and I am refusing to pay for further gymnastics lessons. My wife is upset because she likes the attention from running the account, and from having a daughter that is mildly well known in our region for being good at gymnastics. My daughter is upset because she loves gymnastics and that's where all her friends are, and because she thinks she has what it takes to make it to professional gymnastics slash becoming a gymnastics influencer. I feel like this is an appropriate hill to die on. I do not want my family's safety compromised, and I have always felt uncomfortable with how revealing the costumes are and the entire culture around adults obsessing over children's body. But the house is in chaos and I want a sanity check. Ada? Edit. By unpopular, I still mean thousands of followers, just not tens of thousands like some of her friends. My wife pulls in $300-ish a month from the account, not counting free stuff. But it isn't free, she has to post photos of our daughter in the donated clothes from sponsor. Edit 2. I have offered my wife compromises in the past. She can delete the account, or she can make the account private. And under either of those circumstances our daughter can continue gymnastics, as long as no one from her group posts her either. She has laughed those down each time and gaslit me and called me crazy. Now there is nothing but the nuclear option since my wife refuses to stop the account as long as my daughter is pursuing a career in gymnastics. So, no career in gymnastics. Update, I talked to my daughter and using age-appropriate language told her that I'm not mad she's in gymnastics but I am mad about the photos that are being posted online, and that I need her to be safe in person and online. I asked her how much she likes gymnastics versus her current gymnastics coach and team versus having the Instagram account and sponsored outfits. Basically her first priority is seeing her friends on the team, then gymnastics as a hobby slash sport, then the social media account, which confirmed for me that this is my wife's hobby, not something my daughter actually enjoys. I told my daughter that we could figure out a way for her to still see her friends on the team and hopefully still take gymnastics lessons, but potentially somewhere else with less of a social media culture, but that I wanted to stop the posting. She agreed and we have a bargain for now. My wife is a different story. She still refuses to delete or make the account private, and now is hiding her phone so I can't check the messages on the account. I am going to reevaluate the situation with her tomorrow when we have calmer heads, but I need that account deleted and I am not ruling out legal action. Thank you. Final update. Last night, while my wife was sleeping, I went to her office and used her desktop to log into Instagram to see what she was trying to hide from me on the account featuring my daughter. It was not the worst case scenario but it was bad. She has not utilized the block feature at all. The DMs on the account were from dozens of anonymous accounts, ranging from generic hellos to incredibly explicit messages. If she had blocked these men or even ignored them, the situation would be salvageable. But she has been role-playing as our daughter and replying to the creeps. If the message said hey sweetie, how old are you? She would reply 11 with childish emoji. And that is a benign example. The messages got much more suggestive than that. I screenshotted everything and emailed copies to myself and my sister who works as a paralegal. I will be filing for divorce first thing Monday, and my goal is sole custody. If anyone reading this is in my shoes, a spouse running one of these Instagram accounts for literal, actual children, get access to that account now. If your spouse refuses, keep pushing. I feel sick and am putting on a brave face but I genuinely just feel like breaking down and crying. There is no reason for these accounts to exist, period. Fuck everyone who has gaslit me here. Thank you to those who have been helpful, particularly in my direct messages, and I will not be involving the internet anymore in my family's life.